Hello everyone and welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of Alteryx Expire. I'm in Inspire. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host and analyst, Rob Streche. Rob, surprise, surprise, we're talking a lot about AI today. I, I was going to say, otherwise we'd get kicked off the <laughs> internet, so you know, we've, we don't talk AI, but I, I think what I like about this is it's the partnerships with Alteryx and how it becomes real, and how you make AI real. Exactly, and who better to talk about that than our next guest on the on the cube, Gopal Sugawanam. He is the global head of Infosys Data Analytics and AI for CPG Retail and Logistics. Thank you so much. Your first time ever on the cube, Gopal. We we, we yes. welcome you here. Thank you so much, Rebecca. I'm very excited to be here. Thank you for this opportunity. So, I'm looking forward to this conversation. Yeah, so are we. So talk a little. Why don't you explain to our viewers a little bit about Infosys Topaz? Excellent, so we have, we've been a very proud sponsor of this event, and Infosys Topaz is really where we've organized all of our data, analytics, AI, and Gen AI services. Over the last several uh, months and quarters, what we've done is we've collected all of our assets, uh, the business-facing assets that help us deliver a lot of fascinating use cases to our consumer goods, retail, logistics, and manufacturing customers, all the technology assets that help us deliver these capabilities at scale, and all of these services that we bring together to implement these uh, capabilities for our clients from a consulting perspective to uh, manage services uh, and business process management services, all of this together under one umbrella, that is really what we call as uh, Infosys Topaz. So I, I think, you know, sitting and talking to some of the organizations that are here, Obviously, we were joking about AI and getting kicked off the internet, but when you start to look at it, people are really trying to figure out what are the building blocks and where do they get started with becoming an AI first organization. What, what have you guys learned and what are some of those things that you can, you can share with the people? Absolutely, very, very good uh, question and that's really where a lot of our clients keep coming back to us. So where do we get started? So one of our consumer goods company uh, that we work with asked us, how do we organize all of these AI efforts? Everybody in the company seems to be talking about AI. How do we get organized? So I think that's really where you start first, where you want to put in place a good governance structure, which not only helps you get visibility to what's happening within the organization, but also help provide playbooks and frameworks for doing this responsibly. Governance is, of course, the first place where you get started. Next is thinking about business use cases. Like I said, there are just so many fascinating use cases that you hear every day. From image generation to content generation to things that you could do with search and summarization. How do you start to tie these to bigger business outcomes that you have within your enterprise? So that's really the second step. That's what we call as AI first, uh, thinking about it as AI first business transformation. And the next and the most important step, which is probably the longest pole in the tent, is getting data organized for uh, AI or getting data ready for AI. Again, it's got a number of different components and I'll expand on that a little later, but then uh, that's, that's the third part. And then the last part is of course, how do you bring all of this together so that you're able to reimagine uh, some of these processes that either drive revenue growth uh, or help improve cost efficiencies or uh, deliver better experiences for your customers. So that's, that's really uh, the way we've seen uh, Within Infosys, we being successful doing it this way, so we've created these as a, this as a playbook, and that's really what we take to a lot of our customers that we work with. It's such an exciting time with so many businesses rethinking old processes and, and doing away with old practices and bringing in the new. Where, as you said, you are a sponsor of, this, of, the, of Alteryx Inspire. Where, where does Alteryx come into play and, and what's the role of Alteryx in, in helping you do Absolutely. this? Absolutely, so Alteryx is a very important uh, capability and if you see, saw some of the product launches, it is really, as it stands for, it is helping democratize data for insights and analytics. So it helps businesses understand what's happening within their businesses and that it provides such an easy way for, for them to work with data. Now being supercharged with AI, that is really where it's able to unlock a lot of value for, for our customers. So I'll give you a couple of examples where we've seen Alteryx really play a, a very important role. Uh, for another uh, food and beverage company, we worked on what we called as uh, brand profitability. The first step there was just bringing data together from all of the systems. So Alteryx provided an easy way for us to organize, massage the data, what they call as wrangle, profile it so that we make it consumable. Then it's auto insights that uh, Alteryx provides, which helps us create those 
insights from the data that we are uh, looking into that help a business user make better decisions. So th those are areas where Altrix has really been uh, helpful and we believe together we are able to amplify this, deliver more value for our uh, business users. Yeah, and, and I mean you brought up data, data wrangling and I, I think to me, uh, being from Texas and having lived there myself, you, 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 you know, gone, gone to the stockyards and out in, out in uh, out Fort Worth there, and you know, it, it, when you start to look at data wrangling and organizations and enterprise, you, you, you also help them understand, and we were just talking about this, kind of like the value of AI as well, and that's got to be one of those building blocks, is helping them use Altrix to really get ready for that by do, doing the data wrangling, but how that ties together. Absolutely, very, very, very interesting perspective that you bring out, Rob. So it is, of course, it's uh, one of the things that I heard at the event earlier today was uh, data for good. Uh, so very interesting use cases from sustainability to uh, using Alteryx to bring up operations when things are down, right? So again, it's just a way for you to work offline and still let your business run uh, and deliver what it's supposed to deliver when everything else is down, right? So uh, I think tying all of what we do to value, there are two ways to look at it. One, how is all this capability being used? And uh, the more people are un people understand these capabilities, which is what we call as being data literate or AI literate, they are, mo they are more able to appreciate what the capability does for them. Second is, it def does impact your metrics. So as long as you start to track those, you're able to see, yes, doing this is helping me drive, uh, reduce waste, improve, improve efficiency somewhere, or drive revenue growth, make better pricing decisions. That's really where we, we see Alteryx and Infosys coming together to help a client. So I, I think, again, you, you, have, you see over CPG, retail, and logistics, historically very you know, thin margin, really got to get everything out of it. How do you see this data wrangling, data engineering, and all tricks really playing a role in helping these organizations get more out of what they do? Are there similarities across those three, three different verticals that you see? Absolutely, so all of them, data uh, is kind of the common uh, thread that's there across all of them. And consumer goods, retail, and logistics, logistics falls right in the middle of consumer goods and retail. Uh, so we look at all of this as one value chain. Uh, there are some very interesting uh, capabilities that we are developing which help us uh, tie things back. So uh, if, uh, if I take, we work with a lot of consumer goods companies and helping them sense demand. What it really means is I'm able to look at consumption that's happening from a retailer's shelf bringing that information back to a brand manager within a consumer goods company to know what is it they should be shipping to their retail customers the next day. So we're able to do this with literally a less than 24 hour lead time, which is, which is wow. probably the best use of data and AI in enabling business, uh, business value helping them forecast demand better, making, helping them put products on shelves when, when a customer really comes there to look for it, helping them drive better marketing campaigns and improve efficiencies across their value chain. Yeah, because that, that just-in-time inventory, and we heard it from the main stage earlier with uh, you know, the cardboard and paper goods and getting the right things to the right places, and in that, like you said, being at you know, right. When you start with CPG at the beginning of the supply chain and then retail a lot of times at the end of the supply chain in for between the two. And there, there has to be also the, the fact that the CPG people are are at the same time, they don't want to overproduce one thing or so that demand forecasting has to be there yeah. as well. Yeah, and that's that's really where the value of data and AI comes in. Data, AI, now intelligence. Uh, that's, that could be generative or it could be uh, assisted by a human. So that's really where we, we, make, we leave a huge mark. So for a consumer goods company, we really help uh, improve on-shelf availability during, during COVID times. Uh, there are other cases uh, where uh, our, our clients want to be in the business of putting products on shelves. They really don't want to work with all of this, right? And that's where capabilities that partners like Alteryx bring and service providers like us bring in to tie all of it together to enable this is really where the value gets created. So I, I love to think about data wrangling because I'm picturing you both in cowboy hats <laughs> and actually with lassos wrangling that data. Um, but, but I'd love you to talk a little bit about, about how this is really changing the way leaders make decisions 
uh, the way people do their jobs because I mean, it used to be you'd forecast based on, yeah, you'd have some numbers, you'd have some sense, but there'd be some gut instinct that would come into it. And I think this product, I don't know why, but I think it's really going to take off. But now we're saying, no, we, we, we have empirically, we can show what's going to happen and we can forecast demand quite accurately. So what are, the diff what are the different ways that you are seeing executives have to change the way in which they do their jobs and make decisions based on this new era of AI and analytics? Absolutely, wonderful question, uh, uh, Rebecca. Again, that's, that's, that's what we say when we say uh, data needs to talk to humans. So in the past, we, kept, we, we looked at business coming in looking for information. Show me what's happening in my business. Today, uh, we've got to a place where AI is able to nudge you, saying uh, there is a certain place, so with the capability that I just described, where I'm able to bring granular information at a store SKU level, uh, I'm able to create platforms which is able to nudge business product managers, for example, saying, hey, there is a lot of uh, uh, footfall that we're seeing on your, in your store somewhere or online. They just track glance views and then I could be nudged saying there's a lot of glance views for this particular product. So there could be another process that could run which will check if there is enough inventory for it. Right, if it's someone's browsing Amazon.com for your product, and if there's not enough inventory, that's an action we should be taking, really. So this is really the, the era where we see data, AI, and intelligence actually acting on business, rather than them going looking for it. So that's, that's really the transition that, that I see happening, uh, Rebecca. Yeah, I, I think that is one of the keys, and I, I think, again, having that strong partnership has to be one of those keys. How, how is the partnership with, all tricks. I mean, you guys won Partner of the Year last year. I know that. So, yeah, you, you, obviously, it has to be going pretty well. Absolutely. So again, we had a very good uh, conversation with uh, Paula and yesterday, uh, and it is about uh, two or three different uh, areas in which we're going to be collaborating. Like I said, first is of course uh, use the capabilities that they have to be able to bring all these use cases to to business faster. So we've seen a lot of places where there are Alteryx licenses that have been sold but not being consumed. So we're going to help them expand consumption and usage across their different, different business groups. Second is of course getting data ready for AI. We believe Alteryx has a big role to play in helping us get data transformed for better decision making and we're going to continue to partner there to build out solutions. And third is how we bring all of this together because as a strategic partner for a lot of our clients in the data and AI space, we act as an ecosystem integrator. And we believe Alteryx has got a role to play and we'll bring them in when, it's, uh, when it makes the best sense. And that's, that's really how we look forward to partnering with them. I have, uh, I'm kind of visualizing us on stage again next year where we can talk about a lot of this uh, successes that we are going to be doing jointly. Well, we're, we're going to look forward to that, but last question, do you have any advice or a pro tip for our audience in terms of how they can really get started and take advantage of AI today? Just one, one great piece of advice. Get, get your enterprises data ready for AI. I think that's really the, going to be the fuel for everything you're going to see. The transformative impact of AI and Gen AI really depends on how well you're able to get your data ready for AI. Excellent. Well, Gopal, a pleasure having you on theCUBE. Thank you. Thank you so much, and thanks for this opportunity, and good luck with the event. I'm Rebecca Knight for Rob Stretch. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of Alteryx Inspire. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise technology news, coverage, and analysis.